Hello and welcome to the Poetry Afternoon. My name is Ella Leving and I'm a librarian at Halifax, Nova Scotia. Today I will be reading you a poem by British poet John Edward Masefield. He was born in England in 1878. When he was 13 years old, he left home and went to naval training school or a school ship both to train for life at sea and to break his addiction to reading. He spent several years aboard this ship and found that he could spend much of his time there reading and writing. In 1895, he deserted his ship in New York with an urge to become a writer and a storyteller. Two years later, he returned to London to write poems describing his experiences at sea. The poem I am about to read to you today, Sea Fever, was written in 1902. I could not imagine a better poem to accompany the views of beautiful Nova Scotia. I hope you enjoy it and I hope to see you in my next poetry afternoon. Have a lovely day. I must down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and the sky, and all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by and the wheels kick and the wind song and the white sail shaking and a gray mist on the sea's face and a gray dawn breaking I must down to the seas again for the call of the running tide is a wild call and a clear call that may not be denied and all I ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying and the flung spray and the blown spume and the seagulls crying I must down to the seas again to the vagrant gypsy life, to the gull's way and the whale's way, for the winds like a weeded knife. And all I ask is a merry yarn from a laughing fellow robber, and quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the long tricks over.